Hi Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. So this is going to be your reading from July 21st through J July 31st. I can remember. Um, it's for Capricorn Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Um, definitely join me on Sunday if you can. I'm going to try to do a live stream, live chat here on YouTube. Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you look for me and I'm not there, it's because I'm just technologically challenged and I couldn't figure out how to get it started. But I am planning it. I did put up a post about it. Um, I've never done one before, so I'm just hoping it will go well. It's really just very casual, just to chit chat, talk a little bit. You have a couple questions. I'll pull a card here and there, that kind of stuff. You know, nothing serious. Um, no deep readings. I'm not doing deep readings. Because I'm hoping, I mean, if there's only five of us, then yeah, we'll just, you know, whatever. But if there's like 105, then, you know, we're just all going to take turns and share the love. All right, Capricorn. So if you want to get a reading from me, check the description box below. All the information's down there. All right. What's the energy for Capricorn for this 11 days to the end of July? I don't pull these in reverse, okay? Just the clarifying cards will be in reverse. Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, King of Wands, Sagittarius just had this. No, wait. Sagittarius didn't. Scorpio did. Uh, Queen of Cups. I hate when there's like a ton of court cards because then it gets confusing. Seven of Wands. All right. Well, Capricorn, what do you have going on? The Queen of Wands is the overall energy. So there's someone significant in your life. Male or female, water sign. And the King of Wands is over top of that. So there's two people here who are significant in your life, Capricorn. Fire sign and a water sign. Oh, and then there's an air sign, the Queen of Swords. All right, I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to confuse this reading. Because usually when I do a tarot card reading and a lot of people show up in a reading, then the confusion starts. And I've, I've heard tarot card readers start with all these different cards uh, these people and then there, there's a billion messages and then it's like what's where's the reading <laughs> where's the message so let's just keep this really really simple if you have a pressing issue contact me and we'll do a personal reading okay i'm just going to clarify the energy of the king uh, of the king and the two queens and i will try to build around that so what is the energy for the queen of cups now remember Male or female, male or female, male or female, fire, male or female, water, male or female, air. There are no earth. There's not even a pinnacle in this reading. Might show up here, but nothing yet. All right, Queen of Cups energy, strength in reverse. This person is suffering. There's weakness, lack of confidence. Could have Leo in the chart somewhere. Could be a mother figure. Who's a Leo? Or a mother figure who's a water sign, who's very weak right now. Okay. Or father, whichever, male or female. Um, give me a second. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Um, there could be abuse of power with this person. Fear, discord. This 
person is the overall energy and is quite significant during this time period. A lot of arrogance. She kind of looks like she's sneaky. Look at her face. She's kind of like sitting up there like smug, like, yeah. Really? You know? Like that girl from Mean Girls. <laughs> I don't know. All of them. <laughs> All right. What is the King of Wands energy? Hmm. Three of Cups. Uh, here's the Pentacle. Three of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, so gossip, someone who's coming, how do I want to say this, lazy, someone who doesn't want to put work in, someone who doesn't want to, you know, make effort to try new things, no teamwork. I'm not going to point you out and I'm not going to point another person out. You, I'm going to let you do it. You figure out who's who in this little game of thrones here. Who's who? What's going on? I'm going to pull the strength again. Okay. Revelation. So you're coming to realize something about someone who um, maybe you thought for a long time was something else. And they are actually, it's, it, they're coming forward as being not what you thought. Something, you're seeing a weakness in someone that was always displayed as being strength. Someone's being called out on a situation that they portrayed themselves to be having it all together or being quite strong. Um, but the truth is actually coming out now. This King of Wands, you know, King of Wands is usually that alpha figure, you know, that bold leader. I don't know. Something's going on with this King of Wands where he or she is not putting in, you know, the effort to make something work anymore. And it's connected to this Queen of Cups. Oh, two of Cups reversed. There's some kind of like somebody, I feel like this King of Wands is realizing that him or her and someone else is not really gelling anymore. Oh, there's just this lack of um, making things work, having things work out for the best. And it might be a blessing <laughs> because the truth is being revealed. I don't feel like this has to do with you. I feel like this has to do with another person who's attached to someone else. I honestly am not picking up your energy. Like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not even seeing it here because there's no, you know, pentacles. Somebody's telling the truth, though. Somebody's giving, someone's giving a true message about somebody's partnership. This Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, doesn't have to be, but it's coming forward and telling some truths, either trying to split two people up or giving maybe this King of Wands this truth about his connection to this Queen of Cups, you know, whatever, whoever it is. There's just two people here and the, the, a mask is coming off. The truth is coming out. And someone is not going to put the effort in anymore into this connection. And it could be you, Capricorn, coming across with this Queen of Swords energy. It doesn't have to be an air sign. But telling the truth about some type of a relationship where whoever this person is, is not who they say they are. 
You know, there's like some kind of a realization coming out about that. Yeah, <clears throat> the Four of Cups here. This is apathy, indifference. This is not, not accepting this cup of love. It's You know, I do feel <clears throat> there is a possibility that you are attached to someone and there's some gossip being told. You may be attached to someone who um, was trying to make a move on this person and they re rejected them. It sounds so petty, but <clears throat> somebody is trying to cause this queen of swords. She's a troublemaker. That's what I feel like. She's a troublemaker. And, and this may not be you. This could be somebody else, but there's trouble here. Somebody's trying to upset the apple cart with temperance in the reverse. They're trying to, you know, they're not bringing peace and harmony. This sits on the two of wands, which is a card about partnership and expansion. So I feel like, you know, somebody's trying. So the overall energy that I'm picking up is someone is trying to break up a partnership. That's what I feel. And whoever these people may be, you know, this, um, How does it relate to you, though? I feel like you're attached somehow to this queen or king of cups. You are attached somehow, and somebody else is trying to get you unattached from someone. That's what I feel like the strongest message. The magician is here, so... Somebody may be trying to help you with something, Capricorn. Somebody's trying to help you see the truth about someone. And, and they're coming off as like being a troublemaker because they're being so honest and truthful about this. Um, but yeah, whatever the, whatever the energy is with this Queen of Cups, she's sitting there very pretty and looking all fine and dandy and just wonderful, but it's not really who she is. That's not really who she is. That's kind of a mask. He or she. And um, somebody's trying to come in and, and, and make you see. And they're doing everything they can. They want change. They, they're just desperate for you to see this. Because I feel like they feel like someone's been pulling the wool over your eyes for a long time. And uh, they're going to use every trick in the book to, you know, have this major change, this upheaval happen. Look, there's so much tension here with the Seven of Wands. This is defensive energy. What they have to offer to you, what they're telling you is true. It's, it's not, it's not fake. It's not, somebody's trying to help you with something and, um, what they're offering, you know, is this ace of pentacles, which is, you know, they're not being greedy. They're not trying to do it for themselves. Yeah. They're coming off as a troublemaker, but you know, I feel like this person is trying to raise your, 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 your level. They're trying to raise something in you. They're trying to get you to see something. Either you with someone else. That's really what I feel like. Um, 
this person may be trying to tell you stop stop accepting love from this king of wands because he's not really putting his effort in look he's really not the two of cups reversed he doesn't think you're his soulmate he doesn't because he's not even looking he's not even trying he's not even trying to learn about you and you have someone who's trying to tell you that you're not seeing this or you're not seeing the, the truth about another person they're trying to tell you that this person that you're with is not good for you whoever it is whether it's a spouse love partner family member whichever I don't know who this is this doesn't have to be an air sign this is just the queen of swords she just gives it to you straight whoever she is she could be a virgo sometimes i think doesn't the queen of swords might have virgo because yeah it could be because um the queen so if it's gemini gemini is ruled by mercury and virgo is ru ruled by mercury so it could be okay for some of you or libra or aquarius um male or female but she's very logical she's a truth teller i am not even kidding There was a couple of messages. I hope you were able to pick them up. You might need to listen to this reading again because it was talking about um, either you have a cheating partner or you've got someone who's just not being, you know, you're blinded by someone's. You're blinded by someone. Someone is fooling you and you're blinded by them, right? But the truth is like it's there, but you're still nurturing this person. You're still loving them. You're still nurturing them. And, and they're really not putting in this effort. They're not trying. And you've got someone here who's like, hello, wake the hell up. Even with the tower card here, the tower is like, bam. They're pulling out all the stops to try to get you to see whoever this person is. This, the seven of wands, this defensive energy. And not letting go. It's like you just don't. You're still so crazy about someone. And um, this is for those of you who are still connected to this person. Look, this might not be about your lover. This could be about, as I was saying, this could be about your mom. This could be about your father. This could be about, you know, a best friend who's taking advantage of you. Okay. So try to be like open-minded. Don't go looking for things. If this is either going to resonate for you or it's not. You know, that's just the bottom line. So if it doesn't, it's for somebody else. But the five of cups in the reverse, that's not regret or loss. You can only have regret or loss when you're not with someone <laughs> when it comes to love. So there's like, there, this is a card about forgiveness. I feel like you're, well, you have a great heart. You're loving, you're caring, you, you're forgiving someone, but you know, you're hopeful about this connection with someone i don't know i just feel like you know this is a snapshot of the energies that could be possibly playing out for those two weeks or 11 days whichever and um i just feel like some of you just have someone very close to you who cares and they want you to see that the partnership that you have with someone and pro possibly with this fire sign is um it's emotionally it's not good it's not healthy um it's just this it there's chaos i feel like there's chaos in this connection with this person or this or this person causes chaos you know this could be the same person here, too. You know, this could be about your parents. Gosh, I'm just picking that up. You know, um, so anyway, let me just get off that. I want to pull from the Romance Angels Oracle deck. Some of you may have had two parents who were just, they needed, they needed to go to parenting school because they just didn't do well for you. They didn't take care of you very well, you know could have been a divorce your parents could have split you know mom was weak she couldn't see the truth 
by the time she did, it was too late. Your father just wasn't putting effort in. He wasn't going to work. He was taking, 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 wasn't trying hard enough. You know, someone's trying to, for some of you, you, you know, somebody, you have someone close to you who's trying to say, hey, why are you living in fantasy land? Why can't you just look and see that it wasn't all, you know, roses in our family life? It was difficult. Why are you still living in this pipe dream as if it was so great? You know why? Because you're very caring and you're loving and, and you, you know, you detach yourself from what your parents did and you're just kind of like, you know what? Yeah, that is what happened. But that wasn't me. That was them. And I still love them both equally. And that's your energy. And you're, I feel like you're just, your, your energy is you're defending. You're defending someone or something. You're defending your right to still care about someone, even though you have someone who's telling you, stop doing that. You know, it, you have free will. It's your choice. You may either come to realize things and still love that person anyway and still care about them, or you um, may come to realize these things, still love them, or uh, maybe be angry at them, but you're still going to support them. You're still going to forgive them. Or, you know, a particular person. So what is this? What is this love energy here? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture for those of you in a romantic situation. You're, this is what you want. You know, you're, you're still going to express your love. I don't see, uh, you know, you're, you're Capricorn. So you usually know what's right. <laughs> and you're, you can be stubborn. You're thinking, I mean, you'll, you'll consider things, of course, but you're not one to just, I mean, it has to be logical. It has to make sense to you, you know? And, um, yeah, you might think someone's an asshole, but that's not necessarily going to stop you from loving them. You know, you're, you're pretty forgiving and understanding, not everybody, but I just kind of feel like just look out for that energy. You know, I, I don't feel like this person is trying to cause harm. I don't feel like they're trying to upset you so much that things are bad. I don't feel like it's that. I just feel like maybe they just want you to see the light and you're not ready to see the light during this time. You don't. See the light just yet. And that's okay. So you know, whenever you're ready to do something like that, then you will. That's all. So yeah, express your love. That's what you need to keep doing. Okay, I'm going to end your reading now because I feel like I'm going to run out. My microphone's going to conk out. Um, hopefully you'll get this entire reading. Um, so join me for the live chat if you like. If not, I'll see you guys in August. All right, bye.